everybody. My name is Céline Ross, and I am an educator for Genomic Canada. I am in Montreal, in the province of Quebec, so that explains my little accent. And uh, today I will show you, it's the first time with I'm doing a Facebook uh, demonstration on Facebook of Genome Canada, but I'm doing it on Genome America since last uh, Ju uh, June. Yes, exactly. So not that I'm so good in English, but uh, I know how to sew. My sewing is better than my talking. Okay. So in April, Genome allows you the whole month to um, practice to, to see what the software can do. You all bought a Genome embroidery machine, I hope, but the software is made for any brand of embroidery machine. A software is a software. Software goes on a computer, sewing machine is uh, another tool, and a software doesn't go on a sewing machine. So you ask what you want on your software, and the machine will embroider it, okay? So... Uh, this, I will do four demonstrations. It's not a class. It's a demonstration which is different, okay? A class is in deep. A demonstration, you just see, uh, just, just, uh, oh, you can do it. Oh, you can do that. Oh, I'll practice this. So, okay. So, let's start. Okay, I'll turn on my software. Okay. I'm okay. Okay. So, like I said, I'm using a Mac computer, and I'm used to PC computer, but I'm doing with a Mac because, well, my screen is better, it's it's bigger, and, uh, and uh, I, I, the software, you can install the software on a Mac or an or a PC, okay? Both are working. Not all the software are the same. Some software, it goes only, you can install only on the PC, but the artistic digitizer, you can use both. Okay? Install on both. I'll start with this. This is your opening window. Huh? If I start here, artistic, let's say preference, okay? I teach before the software in French. So here you have 15 different language. So you cannot say, I cannot buy the software. It's not my language. Well, okay. They're all there. So I switch in English before I show, I show, I, I give my demonstration to you. And when I'm finished, I'm going to switch into French. Okay. And when you switch language, it won't appear right away on your screen. You have to close the software to turn off the, the software and reopen the software to activate your command. Okay? When you turn it on, this is what appears to you. What do you need when this is new? You need help, huh? Well, look all the videos you have on the side here. Look all the videos. Oh, there must be over a hundred now. And each video are on a specific topic, like the welcome screen. It's really specific topic. And they're never long. Well, I say they're never long, 32 minutes. But the other one is 3 minutes. And 3 minutes, 31 seconds. 4 minutes. Of course, quick start is longer because there's a lot to talk about. Huh? But look how much, how many software you have. So this is a good help. And you don't have to search for the videos. They're built in right into your software. So you just search the um, technique you want to do. And it'll teach you how to do it. And you do it. Okay? So that is important. Okay? Also, another good thing here is help. I'll click on help. If I want, only if I want, and I did it, okay, I print my whole book, almost 498 pages. 
some people prefer to have a hard copy instead of uh, always jumping into uh, you see it came back into French and it was in English unbelievable huh? I, I, I don't understand all of this but as long as it's good it's okay it was in English before so and then what do you see here you see what you need to do to work when you work with the software you see my um, my cursor okay you need to um, you need a mouse honestly a mouse is so precise huh? so it, it, just uh, you know uh, your finger on your uh, your um, computer is not good so what do we do first I like to click here a good start okay you have to choose your company machine what which kind of what kind of machine do you have which brand of machine do you have okay so you see this is Italia Italy and these are you know these these brand okay uh, you know Elna is Genome but you choose your company then you choose the model of your sewing machine whoops on the other side okay 15,000 it gives me the hoop that I will be able to work with here's our here are the, the hoops let's say I have a 550 keep your eyes on the hoops there you go you see so right away the software give me the hoops that I can use on the machine model that I have maybe you don't have all these hoops some are coming with the machine and some are optional same thing for the 15,000 but same thing for all the machine from all the company okay let's say today I'm gonna work with SQ 14 so I made already I prepare my software to open to work with my 15,000 and my SQ 14 second thing you have to do and this is the um, uh, how should I say this is the way you have to do it so you have to choose your fabric because the software software is really uh, uh, ready to use okay so you have to tell the software which fabric you're using the color is if you like this is not optional but you have to tell the fabric you're using and how much how you would like to have the density of your embroidery machine embroidery design sorry so let's say you work on organza and you don't want a heavy embroidery yeah it's just logical you want it ultra light or smoother so I like to say normal light you know too dense it's like bulletproof you don't want that huh and then you choose your fabric and the color of your fabric okay so um, uh, the, the color you have many color you can use here I, I want a white from but you see you can choose whatever you want huh? whatever color but I prefer white and I hope I didn't uh, okay and then it's finished mm, I hope okay let's see this is over okay and then look for my uh, and then this is your help menu and this is the help also so you see I don't understand it can back in English so Mac and PC uh, there's a little uh, uh, it, it gives me it plays tricks you know okay I have help help now you want you know it's like your sewing machine I have to browse favorite I'm gonna start like this so when you buy an embroidery machine the company built in some embroidery design to get you started right away it doesn't mean it's bad design it means it you have to start somewhere so artistic digitizer you have 
3,500 design, free design. You have to like some. Huh? I think him is mad. Uh, and there's all kinds of designs. Okay, so you can scroll down and you have also a folder for more designs. So you keep scrolling down. There's um, a cursor here. You, you need bigger. You want to see them smaller. Whoops. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry, I come back on this. Shift 8. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, sorry. So, I'm here. Okay. And uh, I'm choosing a design from. If you read what's underneath a design, draw. So, this is the format. Draw is the native format for um, artistic digitizer. So the, uh, the, the native format allows you to come back on your draw file to rework the design. You should always save your design in two formats, okay? Draw file, native, and then the format of your sewing machine. What is your sewing machine? Janome is dot Jeff, okay? So Jeff, Jeff Plus, or ta ta ta, okay? But you should, that's what you should do. Draw file, then your, your sewing machine. But I also have here CMA, CMX. And if I scroll down, you have NGS, NGS, NGS format. So those are some in the same family of vector file. That means it's not bitmap. It's clean, ready to embroid. Okay? To, to digitize. So let me prove it with a nice design. Let's see this design here. Okay? This is an image. This is an artwork. This. If I click on it, it's loading on my computer. It's too big now. I'll put the 100. Okay. Look in my SQ hoop. And if I enlarge the design at 200%, these are stitches. So right away from your artwork, the software convert the artwork into stitch file, a stitch design, stitch file. I hope you understand what I say. Um, you see, you see a, a lot of little black square. This is because I enlarge my screen. When it's, um, when it's uh, 100%, you really see the grid, you know, the uh, sewing, the embroidery area. This is your uh, template. Eh? So what's going on with that design? This design, if you look underneath here, okay, it says 84 items. What's an item? It's a sequence. A sequence is, this is a sequence. And this is a sequence, and this is a sequence, and this is a sequence. So, so far, there's 84 in this design. You know, it, when we start with the software, we said, oh, it's just a flower. Well, there's a lot of information behind the design. The height and the width of the design is mentioned here. And it, with the software, you can work in... Um, inches and in um, uh, metric uh, measurement. Five different color change. And that, that design has 12,600 12, stitches. So an embroidery software like Artistic Digitizer, it's a stitch generator. I'll prove it to you. 12,600, I will select my design. And the design is divided in four. You see those little four arrow? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four corners and four in between. So if I take 
any corner and I enlarge my design, oh, I was 12,600. It generates stitches. I'm now up to 19,700 stitches. And the design is perfect. Unbelievable, huh? So, this is what the software is doing. If you want to enlarge just one part, remember the design is divided in four. So, I just enlarge the bottom part. Of course, it's not square anymore, huh? Okay. Also, you say, oh, you made so many... Um, so many um, changes. It's not center anymore. Oh, 15,000. There's a little arrow underneath. Center to hoop. Finito. You see? You didn't even see it moved. You're not happy with this. It's, oh, I want to come back. There's an undo button here. If you follow my cursor, back, back, back to my original. You can program. So you see, I show you here preference. It will turn in French for sure. Uh, I said in English, undo level or auto backup step. It tells you, and you can choose. Well, the more you choose, the slower your computer will go. Huh? That's a something else. You want to work. You know, this here, you put it the way you like. You don't want, you want inches, metric, what do you want? Okay. But there's other, there's other um, way to do it. What I'm showing you, it's just a, a, a little teasers. Okay. But you can adjust, change will be applied next time. You see, this is what I'm telling you. So if you want to apply the changes right away, you will have to, um, Shut down the software and reopen it right away. Okay? So, I showed you how quick it was to import an artwork and make changes. Enlarge, increase, decrease. You want to decrease it? So, I'm still 12,600 12, design. No, click again. Whoa. Oh, I should show this to you while I'm here. So, decrease. Oh, I'm 7,300. And it won't be that dense, huh? Stitch generator, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. If I click, you see these little arrow in the corner and in the center? If I click a second time, oh, I can pivot my design. This is right in the hoop. Okay, well, you won't see it too much because this design is the same all the way around. But there's more adjustment here. Rotation, flip, uh, uh, horizontally, vertically, but we'll come back here later. Okay, let me take another design. Click. Don't save this design. Let me come here. Let's say it's spring... Uh, Let's say butterfly, you'll see well. So this is already a draw file. Draw file is somebody, well, of course, the company, uh, uh, draw stitch, uh, drawing a company already digitized it for you and they saved it in the draw file. So I can keep going with the same design and change stuff, okay? So it tells you, 34 items, but you know, this is one item and this is another one. If you count everything, you know, you have 34 or sequence or items. That's or object. Sometimes it call, it's called object. Okay. It says I selected one. I don't want to select anything. Okay. The width and the length, uh, the width and the height of the, the design, the number of color and 15,000. 500 stitches for this design. So we'll play with this. Okay. I could do the same thing with the other design before because it is a vector image. Bitmap, trust me, it's another story. 
So let's say, oh, I would like to change the inside. The embroidery is, um, the inside is um, the fill stitch, okay? So we'll change some property. Nothing is selected. The design is not selected. So look on the right. Property is not open. My property box is not open. I'm going to select one part. Oops, look what it gives me. It opens the property box for me. So the fill filling, I can change the inside, the way it's um, it's embroidered. So the use pattern number three. Let's say pattern, uh, let's say number, number uh, part 109. Did you see this? Okay, but, um, okay, I'll do undo. I'll do undo, can you believe this? Okay, I'll, I'll unselect. I want you to remember, I have 15,500 stitch. I choose this design. I'm changing for, uh, is it the one? No, it's not the one I used before. Oh, uh, here it was, here, okay. I want to do the same thing here. I could choose both at the same time, but oh, let's make it fun. Let's change another uh, type of zigzag. Look at the difference between the two of them. Okay. So I changed this just for fun. And you say, oh, I don't like the color. Uh, oof. I'm going to choose them both. And down here, I have property with filling. I'm going to change uh, to choose color, change my color, and then you tell you tell your machine which which thread you want to use. Are you using? Well, of course, I'm general me, yeah. Oh, you feel a <laughs> this is a butterfly, the pinky one, okay. And then again, you say, oh, I would like to change those two object or come back on property come back here and uh, let's say uh, whatever you choose broken lines well look at this okay again I'm going to change the color and uh, this is pink so let's make it uh, any color uh, no what am I doing Oh, I forgot. Okay, green, sorry. Okay. You see? So you really can make changes. This is a satin stitch. Let's add something. So I'm selecting my design. When you want to stop a um, when you want to stop a, a command, you always come back on selection. I'm changing I am selecting my whole design right click I'm saying right click but there's many other way of doing it you know we we can say select all or control a uh, you know that so there's many ways of doing it I will say auto border okay I will say remove whole and I would like to have an outline outside okay look at my black outline all the way around but not inside okay let's do something else undo control uh, auto border don't do remove the holes and this time let's do a zigzag Look at this. Very nice, huh? And not hard. You know, when it, when it's hard, it's when you don't use it often. Then it's like we forget. Then we, it's like you, you, you don't know where to go anymore. But when you, when you have a software, well, the cleaning and the laundering and everything is, is well, well after. Okay. So. What happened now here? 
18,200 stitches for my 1,500, 500 design. Uh, my, my, uh, that's what I had first, okay? So, oh la la, so we, we, we add stitches. Of course, we add the zigzag. And the way the filling is, well, that way you add stitches. That you have no choice. It's adding by itself, okay? So that's one of the things that I wanted to show you. So, so you know, 20 minutes is uh, very fast. That huh? goes fast. So this is finished. And then you would have to save it. I don't want to save it now. If you want to save it, I don't want now save it. Okay. I'm coming back on Cillian. I want to show you just a quick, quick thing. No, I won't show it to you now. Sorry, sorry. Uh, new. I have my square, okay, my uh, template, and then I'm coming on um, on lettering. I have two choices, text or monogram. I'm going on to text. When I click text, this opens here, okay? Let's say I'm going to write a word, genome. I cannot, uh, whoops. Gen, oh, genome, why my genome, ah, I don't know why, did I click this, my, my keyboard doesn't work, ah, what is this, if I do that one, it does it work, but my keyboard doesn't, I don't know why, just my mouse is working. This is what I did previously here. So I don't know. Uh, I won't show you this then. It's my keyboard that doesn't... Uh, it's acting. I don't know why. Then I'll show you the other, the other thing I want to show you. Welcome. Okay. And uh, browse. And... Uh, Paint, sti paint stitch folder, okay? Let's see this flower, it's spring, okay? It's ready to bloom. This is a picture, okay? And I want, I want it to do like, I can have many choices. I can draw over, I can save it as a backdrop and paint uh, and draw over or make some changes. I can auto-digitize, I can, Make it as a cross stitch, as a photo stitch, as a paint stitch. Look at this. Not harder than this. Huh? Really easy, yeah? You ready? 15 color, color change. Uh, well, 100, I, I don't know how to say, okay? But a lot of stitches. A lot of stitches, okay? So, I would like... To, I, I don't know why this is acting. I don't understand. Like I say, yeah. Um, ay, 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 ay. Why is this? I don't want this. I want a new window. Don't save. Okay. Let me come back here and here. No. Lettering... No. Oh, lettering I'm here. Okay. Channel me. No, my keyboard doesn't work. I will just try to connect. Maybe it's the battery. I'll see right away. Ah, that's my keyboard. Had no more. Um, okay. It's me. Okay. Um, you know, when you teach, there's always something, huh? You know what? Let me start fresh because now I did uh, too many things. No, don't save. Let me bring a new window. Let me change for text. Bah! Ah, we're in business. Uh, I want capital letter. Ah. Should, am I okay? Hey.
Okay. Okay. So, whoop, whoop, how do I stop this now? Okay. So, I wrote the word Janome. I can choose any font I want here. You see? You have, the company gives you uh, uh, fonts, fonts, okay. Uh, there's a little delay because I'm, I'm translating in my head. So you have font from the software and it's a true type font software. So you have any font from your Word document or your, 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 so, uh, what you have in your computer and the software will pick it up and you can down, download also some font. So my screen is pink. Why? Because my design is not centered in the hoop, is outside of the hoop. So I will do again center to the hoop. Okay. Now, why those little red square? These are handles. Look what I can do. This will be cut with your sewing machine. Don't worry. Huh? So you can manipulate any letters you want. Okay? That's one thing. Then I'll do undo, 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 undo. Let's say, whoa, redo. I want to center it. Okay. I like it. To stop my command, I have to come here and do selection. Select the, the, the word. You don't like it? You said, no, no, it's a, I want it. I don't know if it's a satin stitch. I think so. Yeah, it's a satin stitch. It tells me here. Okay. And you want to change color again. Color. Let's do the inside. Okay. See? Then you say, oh, oh, look at the little bobo here. Well, that means maybe I enlarge too much for this. No, it's not nice. So this, it's not nice, you see. So that means this font doesn't suit to my design. Or this design doesn't suit to my font. Okay, let's come back. Lettering, whoops, whoop, 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 whoop. text. Okay, let's change um, uh, for, I want a heavy one, you know. Ah, that I like. You, you're going to tell me, hey, Celine, I don't want my embroidery being so so open. Don't worry, when you embroider it, it's closed. Huh? And you keep going, you know, you try, you like it. Do you like, oh, select the select the word. You like it. Oh, uh, no, it's not nice. Okay. Oh, maybe it's nice to you. But, you know, you choose your font. You have so many you can choose from. Phosphat, imagine. Okay. Then you say, okay, I like it. Select. Let's enlarge it. Okay. Maybe you say, oh, I want. Just to do this. You see? Then you say, well, I would like an outline because it looks not uh, like too loose, the thread. Okay. Select, right click, auto border, running stitch, inside, up. I don't have the inside. I just did the outside. Okay. So, right click, auto border. Don't put an X here. Okay. Hey, look at this. So, you see the outline everywhere, inside and outside, all the way around the... Um, the lettering with that font it's not nice all the time you have to choose your font huh? but the software is a true type font which is 
just wonderful. You know, for uh, Valentine, you can write uh, uh, you, uh, some wording or some text because you can write text and huh? you can fill up any hoop you have. You can write a recipe, you can write a love letter, you can have uh, uh, the rules in the bathroom, uh, the bathroom or in the kitchen. You, you can embroider your writing. And I'll be uh, I'll be live again next week. Bye bye everybody.